here are the historical figures of the Who Controls the Board chess set. Um, for king and queen, we have President Andrew Jackson and a black mammy holding a white child. I chose the Andrew Jackson um, with his $20 on the back of his shirt for obvious reasons and the mammy because she represents the most uh, used woman of the historical time. For the bishops, I've got a Catholic bishop and a Methodist preacher. Those were the two largest religions represented in the Bureau of Indian Education schools, which were a large part of the impetus behind this project. For the knights, I chose to use black clad KKK figures. They historically called themselves knights, uh, which was an interesting, an interesting choice. They have their nooses on ropes wrapped around their shoulders. For the rooks, we've got Bureau of Indian Affairs schools, and uh, these are porcelain figures covered in black slip to give that sort of sepia, sepia um, photograph color, and the the crosses of all the children's graves on their grounds turned out really nicely in this particular firing. The first set of pawns are uh, modeled after um, a, an Alaska native child and a child from the Pacific Northwest region. Um, the Alaska native child is wearing a seal skin type suit the Northwest native has bark clothing and a woven hat. These ponds are um, modeled after a Diné girl and an Apache boy. So all of these figures were modeled using actual photographs of children who had been abducted to Bureau of Indian Education schools. There are photos available readily online. This set um, show a Hopi girl with her beautiful squash blossom hairdo and uh, a Lakota Sioux girl wearing uh, a dress with um, elk teeth embroidered onto it, sewn onto it with her braids. Again, modeled after original photos. Here we have a boy from Sask Saskatchewan and a Cherokee girl. Boy from Saskatchewan, his photo is amazing. He's wearing the most elaborate and beautiful outfit. And this Cherokee girl has got this um, ropes and ropes of pearls and shell necklaces around her neck. Those are the historical figures from Who Controls the Board.